Toss a coin to your witcher, because I need more money for this cosplay. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Aubrey. Uh, today and this year, I guess, we're going to be doing a very intense, very detailed witcher cosplay. And the reason why is I started watching the Netflix series, as most of you probably have. Got very confused around season one because I didn't realize there was uh, alternate timelines. And uh, then I watched season two and I was like, wow, this is just, this just, this, this slaps. Yeah, this is the best. And then I started playing PC games and I was like, yeah, this is absolutely smashing. And then I started re reading the books and now I'm fully invested today. We're going to be making a Witcher cosplay. Um, what my vision is for this cosplay is basically going to take Netflix's beautiful black and silver armor, which for all you nerds, technically is canon because in the books it's called Novingrad style armor, and there is a part in the second book, Sword of Destiny, where it talks about Geralt's jacket being black leather with studded silver studs. Well, we're basically going to take uh, that beautiful black armor, we're going to marry it with the third game, Wild Hunt armor, and we're going to make it beautiful for a lady. Because I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're going to be doing. So to show you the sketch, I've drawn this like five times. This is probably peak peak design for me personally, um, is this right here, this sketch. So as you can see, it's going to have a cow piece, uh, the top and bottom shoulder pads like the Netflix series, the gauntlet or wrist guards, whatever you want to call them. It's going to have hip guards and a crotch guard. The reason why I'm adding a crotch guard is because, I don't know if anybody else noticed, they they let Henry Cavill just, just fight monsters without a crotch guard. I know that the black armor has some pleats down the front, like a samurai style armor, but in all the promo videos, I mean, if you're gonna fight monsters, you have to have a crotch guard, regardless of gender. Um, <laughs> those parts are important. <laughs> so we're making a crotch guard for my armor. Um, and that's my design choices. I'm going to add a couple of other things as well, uh, like that uh, leg, I guess. What would you call it? Oh, what is it called? A leg guard? The thing that's on his thigh where he puts all the Witcher potions in the next <coughs> series. We're going to make one of those. And uh, I'm probably going to use, have to make a leather belt. I'm going to purchase two swords because Steel for Humans and Silver for Monsters is very funny. Also, really good title tracks from the game. <laughs> it's just a good soundtrack. And I'm going to purchase those swords. I'm going to purchase that Witcher medallion. You know, silver wig, yellow eyes, you know, the whole shebang. Um, I already have black gloves, so that's covered. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I actually lied in the next video, you will see this. Draft the cowl neck piece for armor. Um, nobody yell at me too much. I've never made armor, and I'm not familiar working with fake leather or real leather. Uh, so we're going to see how that goes today. As far as other uh, things that I bought pattern pieces for, um, I bought this B5. 371 Butterick. It's making history and it's pretty neat. I honestly did not buy it for the gauntlet pieces because gauntlets are pretty easy to draft if you know what you're doing. I'm just lazy. But I bought it mostly because of this, uh, that corset piece right there. Um, I just thought it was cool and it was like 10 bucks and it's uncut. So check out eBay. eBay's got great patterns for cheap. Because I don't know about y'all, but I hate going to Hobby Lobby and getting McCall's patterns. It's like 13 bucks, which isn't bad, but it's also like you can't find cool stuff, you know? So we're going to use that pattern piece for the gauntlets. I am going to be using this A figure uh, shirt for a neck cowl piece for the shirt that I'm making. I'm I found this pattern for 12 bucks at a antique shop? It's not really an antique, but 
I'll take it. Um, so that's fun. And then today I bought a pants piece from Hobby Lobby, but I bought it because, you know what? If you've ever had to draft a pattern for pants, it is the worst thing ever. And I'm so particular about fit and how far the crotch seam drops that I'm not going to bother trying to make that pattern first time around. I could, but it's just gonna give me a headache and I am impatient and I want to be the witcher now. I wanna be it right now, right now. That's what I wanna do. Um, other things that I bought for this project um, is a stash of black uh, fake leather, which I think I might've bought too much, but that's okay. We can um, make more things for it. Um, I'm going to use these little silver pieces for my armor. I also got double capped rivets, um, a rivet tool, all purpose black cotton thread for the shirt and the pants and heavy duty black thread for the leather armor. So let me cut to Aubrey who's making the cow piece and I will stop talking. Goodbye.